hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jahan in case you're new soul tribe you already know this is a timeless reading for the sign of Taurus Taurus sun moon and rising we're going to take a look at any big changes significant changes coming your way so if it's meant to resonate with you you'll stumble upon this at the right time being that it is a timeless reading also know that these are general messages they may not resonate with everyone at this point I'm, I feel like I'm a pro I'm gonna set the intention for the readings to resonate with my subscribers first because y'all not just finna hit it and quit it <laughs> if these readings resonate or if they'll have a higher chance of resonating um if you guys are subscribers period or if you guys subscribe so <laughs> but anyways let's jump into the reading i'm going to ask creator of all things universe angel spirit please show me the energies for the sign of taurus taurus someone in rising big changes coming their way significant changes what do they need to know and how can they potentially improve the quality of their life i should get three cards for taurus summon and rising Ooh, we have the king of coins so you guys definitely in your element with this king of coins energy some of you i get the sense that with this ace of swords there's going to be a breakthrough within your finances finally if you especially if you've been feeling as though um things have been stuck or slow or if you've been maybe suffer from some some sort of financial loss or setback or delay um i definitely feel as though there's going to be some sort of increase in your finances and even if you're already doing good financially i definitely feel as though there's going to be an increase some of you are could be business owners sometimes the king of coins to me pops up for anybody who's in land management property management real estate interior design um entrepreneurs business owners the king of coins is just someone who is very very stable and grounded and practical you know that earth energy is all about um being methodical so some of you could also be dealing with another earth sign like yourself, another Taurus like yourself, Virgo or a Capricorn. I get the sense that this person could be a business owner or just someone who's very, very stable. Some of you could be managers or um, some of you, I feel as though if you're not a manager already, a change coming in for you that's going to be very significant is a promotion. I feel as though you're going to end up, I'm hearing lead, you're going to end up getting some sort of lead position. Yeah, because we you go from the knight to the, the, uh, the king of coins. Some of you, if this hasn't already happened yet, it may not happen really fast because the Nine of Coins is the slowest moving night in the deck. So I feel as though this offer may not come in when you want it, but it'll come in nonetheless. And with this devil energy, I feel as though some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn who's very, very drawn to you. Even if it's not a Capricorn, I definitely feel as though there's someone, another earth sign, because this is a lot of earth energy, and another earth sign you could be dealing with that's taking forever to progress with you or to approach you. But I feel as though once this person does approach you, there's going to be a long-term stability. This person is very loyal, and I get the sense that there's a lot of a lot of attraction, but I get the sense I'm hearing self-sabotage. So I don't know if this is an addiction or something that this person does in excess that is blocking this connection. But I'm definitely picking up a strong energy where someone um, feels very strongly about you. This person sees you as a badass. Like, like literally, they, they, they think you're bad. Like, like in a good way, you know what I mean? Like, Like when you see a very attractive female and you go, oh, she's bad. Like they think you're a baddie. This is how they see you. They also feel as though it's crazy that you're this attractive when you're so intuitive. Even if you're a man watching this or whatever, just take it how, uh, however it may resonate. The person you're dealing with, you feel as though for them to be so attractive, they're just so intuitive and so understanding. And on top of that, they're smart with this queen of swords. This could be you. They feel as though not only are you bad, you're attractive, you're sexy, you're intuitive. Maybe you're someone who's very spiritual. You're very in tune with thyself. You know thyself. You're a very good homemaker. But on top of all of that, you're smart. You're very analytical. Maybe some of you have a career within uh, the spiritual realm, doing something holistic with this tea. Or you work in science, technology, engineering, or math. Maybe some of you work in finances with this Knight of Coins energy. Or maybe you're just a really good business owner. You know, you know how to, you know 
take something and turn it, you know, how to take a hundred dollars and flip it and turn it into a thousand. Like you're, you know, you're just very business savvy and they admire this about you. I see this person coming in, but I definitely feel as though there's going to be promotions coming in for you as well. I'm hearing someone is open in their heart. You're going to like, you're falling in love. Some of you, I definitely feel as though there's going to be love. This is going to be the kind of love you've never experienced before, Taurus. It could be with another earth sign or uh, someone who is a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And the Seeker. Some of you, you th this situation may involve travel. So you might end up traveling towards this person or this person may end up traveling to where you are. There's definitely um, a distance, long term, uh, long term, <laughs> long distance relationship. Or oh, hey, this person could come in and offer you a long term shit. Sometimes you say things that you don't mean to say, but then it resonates with someone. So, um, some of you, I feel as though there's going to be like a layover in New York because this is Grand Central Station. This is the Terror of the Boroughs. Borough. So I feel as though some of you, you may, if it's not even New York, you, you may be traveling from a big city to another big city to meet up with this person after a long time because I feel as though you miss this person or this person misses you. Some of you, you feel as though there's been a stagnancy or loss in your finances. Like I said, you know, something is coming in for you, an offer. Some of you, this may even be an opportunity to make money. With the Queen of Swords, Spirit is calling you, uh, calling for you to really stand into this Queen of Swords energy. The Queen of Swords is no nonsense. Whether you're a man or female, the Queen of Swords, she'll tell you about yourself. She, you know, has her boundaries all the way up you know and she does it's not you know she won't tell you about yourself in the getaway or make a scene you know she'll read you in a very eloquent way in a very professional way where you know nobody is like feeling offended but at the same time she'll put you in your place you know what i mean because she knows what she's been through and she's very reasonable she doesn't just go around asking to speak with your manager for no reason type of shit you know what i mean she's very down to earth spirit is saying you don't have to be a bitch you don't have to be an asshole to get your way but sometimes you really need to say hey looky here mother you know what i mean you gotta say it's either this way because some people if you like literally people will treat you how you let them treat you so some of you there's a need for you to step into this energy which for taurus i, I feel as though this shouldn't be hard for you to do because you're the bull you're stubborn as hell anyways <laughs> Some of you, I definitely feel as though you're dealing with someone from a different country or you're going to a different country, a place you've never been, an accent. I'm even hearing up, uh, picking up on a little bit of a language barrier or having a difficulty understanding someone's accent or vice versa. This is how this person may feel about you, Taurus. But I definitely feel as though with this hangman, Spirit is saying that whatever happens, whatever doesn't happen, don't get too caught up in that. Spirit is saying try to see things from a different perspective, from a higher perspective. Try to look at things um, what you, what, from your higher self. With this hangman, because he's hanging upside down, he's able to see a different point of view. And this is exactly what Spirit is asking you to do. Because some of you are wasting energy over stressing. Because some of you, again, you may feel stuck. Some of you with the Six of Wands, there's going to be victory and success. Some of them, I'm also picking up either you or someone you're dealing with. There's a lot of pride. I don't know if you ignored this person or said something and this person, you know, didn't like what you said. And so it caused like a, a delay within this connection. So take that however it may resonate. But I want to go ahead and pull some channel changes for you guys that I wrote down. If you would like a video reading much like this, I offer video readings. You can check out my website, www.johantaroshop.com. The links for all of that will be listed down below. But let's see what Taurus, what else Taurus can expect. What changes are coming Taurus, for Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. Wow. A lot. Okay. A lot of changes for you, Taurus. We have jewelry, tattoos, and parasing. So I feel as though if not already, maybe you might end up getting a lot. Maybe you're someone who likes to wear a lot of jewelry. Maybe you have tattoos or parasings. I definitely feel as though you're going to end up getting more tattoos or parasings, or you might end up getting your first tattoo or your first parasing. Take out however it resonates. Some of you could be plus size, tall, or thick, or the person you're dealing with. Maybe this is how they view you. The world views you, or you view, the, view this person. We also have a change that requires travel, Taurus. I might use this for the title of your video. We'll see. 
that to the side. We have ancestors, genealogy, and roots. So some of you might end up looking into your genealogy roots, ancestry.com, looking into your DNA. Some of your ancestors have been trying to communicate with you through numbers, synchronicity, songs, whatever. Um, so tap into that. We have movement after feeling stuck. What have we been talking about, Taurus? So there's definitely going to be movement after feeling stuck. Some of you, the month of March is going to be significant. We have January for others. Ooh, one, one, one. So there's going to be a massive spiritual awakening for you, Taurus. Engagement. Some of you are going to end up getting engaged. The month of August could be significant for some of you. We have August twice. That's crazy. I don't even realize I wrote that down twice. That's crazy. Channel messages, I guess, right? Ooh, there's a possible pregnancy or birth of a new idea. So if that's something you're not wanting, be careful. Taurus, but there's definitely going to be a birth of a new idea. We have important messages and good news coming in for you, Taurus. So that's amazing. Happy for you guys. We have a new car shopping and big purchase. So some of you guys may end up doing some sort of shopping around for a big purchase, or maybe you're buying a new car coming up. We have acrylic nails, long or short. So a hey, maybe you're someone who wears nails. Or the person you deal with if you're a man watching this shout out to you if you like to watch me do my nails i have videos down linked below so you can check that out some of you are considered a natural beauty or maybe the person you're dealing with you consider this person a natural beauty so that's what i'm picking up for channel changes taurus all right so as a closer reading i'm going to pull one last oracle message for the sign of taurus summon and rising make sure you guys click the bell and subscribe if this resonates and let me know in the comments if this makes any sense some of you could be tarot readers, empaths, intuitives, yogis, reiki masters, shamans. I'm even picking up on witchy vibes in the, I was about to say in the comments, who do some of you are definitely spiritual people. Answering the call, the time is now. It's time Taurus, the time is now. It says distant thunder, it's time for you to clear the air. Some of you, to me, this is kind of comparable to the uh, ter uh, blah, 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 the tower card in tarot. I feel as though something that was built on a faulty foundation, something that's not meant to be, something that's not built to last or not meant to last is going to come crumbling down. And there's going to be, uh, be a need for you to clear the air. And all of this is happening um, because spirit is wanting you to answer, answer your call. Spirit is saying the time is now and literally there's going to be some sort of window or door of opportunity opening up for you so you can do so. So some of you, I feel as you're going to end up walking right into your life path, right into your destiny, your life purpose. So how dope is that, Taurus? So this is what I'm picking up for you guys. I hope this makes sense. Let me know in the comments. Click the bell and subscribe if not already. And you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye, Taurus.